Panther. As I said, the only thing we've actually the only thing I've got left that I really want to cover between now and the end of the semester, we've got this assignment and then the final project. Now the final project, I should point out, will be due at the end of revision week. Yeah, in other words, you'll have some time to work on it during revision week that there. So that there. So I'm not terribly worried about it there. So I'm just gonna bring it up in Word. The easiest way to bring it up. Well, where is my Word? I got too much software installed on this little tiny machine. That's why it's starting to blow out of memory. Your cert your computer runs out of memory, it's time to buy a new computer, right? <laughs> well, unfortunately, with these uh, surfaces, you can't add memory. I mean, you can't add an additional hard drive or anything to it. I've got a little micro SD card. I can add another micro SD card to it. That there. Okay. Uh, I did put a put a, a year. I assume that you understand it's you. It's due December thirtieth of this year. You know, not next year. It might hurt your grade a little bit if you turn it in a year from now. That there. Basically, I gave you two circuits. One has got four voltages, and it's a nodal problem. I did not cover how to do a nodal problem, but I assume that you know how to write the equation for nodal analysis and and can can do that. That there, so that there. But again, it's just simply find the five. It says five voltages. There's actually yeah, there's five voltages that there. So it's a pretty nasty problem if you were to do it without MATLAB. That there. Now the other thing is that I also require that you verify it using multi-sim or any other circuit analysis program. I don't know what's going on with me and my typing this morning, but I forgot the ending parentheses there as well. <laughs> there. Up there. I'll, I'll go ahead and put it there, but that way it's saved for if I use it again next time up there. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the year there, but even though the one you'll download won't have the, won't have the year or the, the corrections on it. But, there. but uh, so part one is just simply to, part one you simply go through and you write the matrices out and you stick them into uh, MATLAB. This is strictly a DC problem right there. This is strictly DC, so no complex numbers right there. And then part two is a just a simple two loop right there. And I've given you, you know, five, 10 to the third, T, so I don't give you a frequency that there. You'll have to convert that back to a frequency to put it into MATLAB right there. Same thing with over here. And of course, this is cosine. Now, notice that these are cosines, not sines right there. And right there. So you just simply find the two loop equations using MATLAB. I ask you to calculate the voltage across 6 ohm, and then I ask you to verify both three and four using multi-sim right there. That's it. And I also left the parentheses off here too for some reason. That's what I get for talking to Ibrahim while I'm trying to type right there. But that's the ne that's the next assignment. You did, actually, I thought you only did one assignment already, or did you do two? You, you did, you did two, okay, that there. I'll have to go through, the problem with I'm using the VLE, and the problem is this, this stupid VLE, and this is being recorded, I'm calling this stupid VLE because I feel like it's stupid at times, <laughs> has all the students still in it from the TDP program, so finding your homework in that is kind of a pain in the neck, to be honest with you, that there. So, and again, it's just simply a matter that the uh, VLE is just stupid, so I will get your homework graded over the Christmas weekend. I, I don't celebrate Christmas anymore, so that there. So I'm going to have this due, though, the 30th, just before the, the uh, yes. Are you happy with It's almost over with, but oh, yeah, okay. that there. <laughs> what, 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 what you need? Are we have training? Oh, do you have training? Yeah. Okay, I, I'm just giving you an assignment. Right. That the, the trouble is we don't have MATLAB downstairs in the computer lab, so <laughs> that's why I steal this okay. room. But I let people work in it, so right, but right. I'm finishing up that there. So I, another reason to finish class early, we're getting kicked out. <laughs> so you hear that, guys? You're going to get kicked out, too. <laughs> that, there. that there. So, okay, but this is basically the next assignment that there. 
So, and then you'll have one more after this, and that'll be a combination of compute C programming and, and MATLAB right there, up there. And then you're done for the semester. That there. I mean, you're you're happy with that. Everyone's doing fine. I don't think we need to worry about grades or anybody failing. There's no final exam, so you guys should all be smiling. This class is almost over with, right? Yeah. And considering computer programming is everybody's least favorite, this one wasn't that bad, was it? Yeah. That there. So, all right. Well, let me get out of here. At there. This was the shortest class I ever had. Five minutes. <laughs> that there. So, uh, yeah. That there. I hate to drink you. Remember, Friday, don't come in. Okay. Yeah.